At the end of Deuteronomy chapter 7, God apparently didn't want the Israelites to be surprised when they were going into the promised land, going up against the nations that were going to be pushing back against them. And so he told them exactly what was going to happen as they were trying to take all these nations down and get them out of the way so that they could inhabit the land that God promised them. And this is how God said it. He said, when you go in there, you're not going to defeat them all at once. You won't defeat them too quickly. It's going to happen little by little. And I wonder if when the Israelites heard that, they thought, oh, <laughs> are you serious? I thought this was going to be easy. Um, it was going to take some time. But, but then he told them why. And this is interesting. He said, it's going to happen little by little so that the wild animals don't become too numerous for you. And so apparently God knew that if all the opposing nations went away all at the same time, then all of the wild animals in the surrounding area, instead of being spread out among the nations and having to deal with everybody all at once, they would all direct their attention to the Israelites and it would be too overwhelming for them. And so God knew that was going to happen, something the Israelites, I bet, had no ability to predict. And because he knew what was going to happen, he made plans so that the bad thing in the end wouldn't happen to the Israelites. And that reminds us of an important principle to keep in mind about our God. And the principle is this. God always knows better than us. He always knows better than us. He always understands the big picture. He knows what's coming. He knows the threats down the road. He knows the ripple effects that decisions in the present are going to have. He always knows better than us. And that also reminds me of the only three ways that God can possibly answer a prayer. Maybe you've heard this. I don't know what it is you've been praying about recently or what it is that's on your heart these days, but there are only three ways that God can answer a prayer. Either he, either he will answer the prayer by saying, yes, absolutely, and it'll happen. Not yet. It's like, just wait a little bit like he did for the Israelites. Or, I'm going to give you something better. Which is kind of like saying no, but but the better version. <laughs> I'm going to give you something better. So either yes, not yet, or there's something better coming. And whichever one of those you're seeing in your life right now, we actually know that every prayer is going to be answered in that third way, eventually in some way. The there's something better coming. That's what God promised the Israelites. He said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you the end result so that you don't have to guess there either. It's like in the end, all the enemies are going to be defeated. All of them. You might have to wait a little bit, but total victory is going to be yours. And it's going to be yours too. I bet the enemies you're up against they're not the same as the ones the Israelites were up against. They might have different names, might be in different places. But you know who they are or what they are. They're the things that compel you to pray for help. They're the things that maybe make you worried or afraid. They're the things that make you wonder about how you're going to make it from day to day. But you don't have to wonder about one thing. You don't have to wonder about the end result. In the end, every one of your enemies will be defeated too because it's going to be Jesus standing tall over every one of them and you right next to him. So that whether God is saying yes to you right now or not yet or it's going to be something better, you can rest well tonight, my friends. Because you're, you know your God is a reliable God who always understands the big picture. <laughs>